Hey guys, it's Nick here from Antac Computer Solutions, bringing you another video. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your build. So, you just went and downloaded one of the builds. One of my favorites download is The Beast by Crispy. Uh, some of the stuff isn't working in it, so you may have gotten an older version because Ares Wizard doesn't, doesn't have an updated version, or for some reason the wizard for uh, Spartan or whatever you use is down. So you got an older version, you've gone ahead and customized it, you spent a lot of time working it out so that everything you put in here works properly, customized it to yourself. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go get a program so you can back it up just in case you have to do a clean install again, or you want to put it onto another box, myself, or another computer, or whatever, myself, I, I put this onto my box downstairs, and my box in my room, and also my laptop, so that I have the same build on all of them. It's a modified version of Crispy's The Beast, uh, I think it's 14.1. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to File Manager. And inside File Manager, you're going to go down to Add Source. Sorry to cut off there a little bit, guys. I couldn't get the right angle with my camera. So, in here, we're going to go to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash SRP dot NU. That's the URL for the super repository. And you can name it whatever you want. I usually name it SRP or Super Repo. I'm going to go OK. So that's going to add it there. As you can see, I already have it. But I'm going to show you guys the steps anyways. So now that you have that source added, we're going to go to Add-ons. So yours might look a little different. You might have to go Settings and then Add-ons. Or it might have an Add-on section by itself. And we're going to Install from Zip File. You're going to choose SRP or whatever you had named it. And choose the different version of Kodi that you have. I'm still running Isengard 15.2. I will be running Jarvis once it's uh, all the kinks are worked out, but right now I'm sticking with Isengard until then. You're going to go to All, and you're going to choose SuperRepo.Kodi.Whatever one you're on. Mine, like I said, is Isengard. All dash zero dot seven dot zero four dot zip. And you're going to choose OK. Now it's going to take a long while for this to um, go ahead and extract everything because there is a lot in this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for now while it extracts. And when I come back, I'll show you how where to get the backup program that we're going to use and exactly what else to do. Now one of the other steps that you can also do beforehand is I took my USB drive, plugged it into my computer, and I had created a folder on that USB drive, and I just called it Backup. Or you can call it whatever you want, Box Backup, Beast Backup, Cody Backup, whatever. So that you know exactly where that file is, that your folder is that you're going to use when you go into the backup and start the backup and the restore. So here we go. Um, I'm going to pause the video while that extracts and gets everything going. When I come back, I'm going to show you the program we're going to use, how to configure it, and go from there. Alright guys, so that's done extracting, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go into your add-ons. And once inside your add-ons, you're going to go ahead and install from repository. Now, this is a giant repository that has tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff that you'll love. Um, pretty much anything you're going to need. You might need to go get some extras, but this is it here. Super Repo All, and then it'll have the version you're using. Once again, I'm using Isengard. So this may take a minute to go inside of here too. As this said, there are tons and tons and tons and tons of add-ons inside here. So now that you're inside there, we're going to go to program add-ons. Once again, there's a lot in here as well. So this may take a minute or so to load. Um, when you get a chance, if you do install this repository, go ahead and check out the video section, uh, video add-on section, because there are tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff in there for you to play around with. And I know I've said that a lot, but I literally mean it. There are tons of stuff in here. So, as you can see, it's enabled already, because I've done my backup, but I'm showing you guys in here how to do it. So this is what we would, we would use, the USB SD card wizard. 
So you go ahead and click OK on it on your remote or you hit enter on your uh, keyboard. And it's going to bring up this. You're, first you're going to configure it. So now you're going to point it to the spot where you had your backup. So here is my USB drive. And here's what I call my backup folder, box backup. And then we go here and we'll say OK. Now it's pointed there. We'll say OK to save that. Then we're going to launch the USB SD card wizard. And you're going to choose backup. And inside here, you're going to choose full backup. You can use these options if you want. It's just safety precautions to do more of them. But I usually just do the full backup. So when you do the full backup, it does take a while to do. I've already done mine, so I'm going to do another part of the video here in a second. It's going to show you how to restore from the backup. So when you choose full backup, it's going to take probably anywhere from 10 minutes to almost a half hour depending on what you have on your box or on your actual laptop or desktop whatever you're using Kodi on it could take that long so i'm going to pause the video here and i'll come back with a fresh install of Kodi. we're going to install the super repo again and we're going to do a restore so we'll show you how to restore from the backup that you just did all right guys i'll be back all right guys, so and here we are with a fresh start on Kodi. So we're gonna add that same repository again. So we're gonna go file manager and we're gonna go add source. And this is just in case you didn't wanna rewind to find the source or you didn't feel like, um, uh, didn't write it down or didn't remember it. So the source again is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash SRP dot NU. Pretty easy. So we'll click done, we'll name it SRP for super repo, SRP. And it appears that my Kodi is frozen, but that's okay. Um, it just makes it so I can show you one other thing on the box here. So if this happens to you, hit your home button on the box itself, on the remote. And you're just going to go ahead and go over to your settings. More settings, that's other, I was all the way over the right. Apps. Cody. And choose for stop. So when you do this, it's going to stop Cody, just like it would any other program that you were stopping on your computer. If you did the control, delete option. And here you go, it's going to launch Cody again. So uh, I showed you the, what the repository was. I'm going to go ahead and install that. I'm going to get the program again, the USB SD card wizard. And we'll go ahead and get to the point where we are looking for that. And when I come back from the video, I'll show you how to do a restore. Alright guys, so here we are at the point for where we would configure it once it's installed. So once again, that's inside the repository. Give it to you one more time, HTTP, or HTTP colon forward slash forward slash SRP dot NU. And then you can name whatever you want. You're going to um, install from repository once or install from zip file. Once that's done, choose the file that you named it. Once it's done extracting, you're going to go into your install from repository. You're going to choose that repository, which is the super repo. And inside there, you're going to install this program, USB SD card wizard. It's inside the program add-ons features inside of that. And we're going to configure it. And we're going to choose the destination. So once again, we're going to choose the USB drive that I set up earlier in this uh, video that I told you guys about. We're going to choose the backup folder that I had chosen, and we're going to say OK. And then we're going to go down and say OK here to save it there. Sorry, guys. There we go. So now that's configured. We're going to launch this. And now we've already done our backup, so now we're going to do our restore. We're going to choose a full restore. And then it's going to start extracting and restoring. Now, this is going to take, once again, anywhere from 10 minutes to 40 minutes, depending on how much stuff you have. So I'll pause the video one more time here. I'll come back when it's all, when it's all done and show you guys the magic. Enjoy. All right, so here we are at 98% backup restore and extracting. 
just take another minute here or so, uh, maybe even less, and we will have the full extract. Once that's done, we are going to restore or reset the box itself. So what we're going to do is we you can either unplug it. If you're in Windows, you can just close out Kodi, or we're going to do the step that I showed you earlier when it freezes, where you can go into the settings other, and then we're going to force stop Kodi, and then we'll launch it again. So let's just take a moment here. As you can see, it's at 100%. And once this says it's fully done, there we go. So now the restore has been done. So we can go ahead and hit the home button on our remote. And we are going to go back to your home screen. Over to settings. And then into other more settings. Apps. Cody again and for stop. So now we can hit home and we'll go ahead and launch Cody again and now it should be fully restored. Should pop up with the beast logo here. There we go. And take a moment to get inside. But here we are, all restored. Uh, some of the pictures aren't there because I customized them, but you can just go ahead and point it to the pictures that you want. But here we go, all restored. And things are working there as well. I'll show you. We'll go into cartoons, and we'll just choose something randomly. So go into cartoon crazy. Let me take a moment to load. It's a pretty awesome cartoon section. Yeah, it's taking a little too long to load. We'll choose something else just to show you guys. So let's go into WWE VOD. Oh, there's Cartoon Crazy. Look at that. So <laughs> it just, uh, it's because IPTV socket. So I don't have that turned off. I need to turn that off. Um, just disable it. I'm not going to uninstall because I do like to pay for it once in a while to use it. But here's my stuff all up and running um, now. It is running a little behind because I did back out of this. But yeah, that's how you do a restore, guys. Um, and I hope you enjoy. And here we go. See there? Now we're inside the WWE section. So that should work there. So here we go. I'm just going to bring up the features. And we'll just grab SmackDown. And just choose the source. And away we go. So that is how to back up and restore your device Cody build. Um, so as I said, uh, earlier, the one that I'm using is the Beast. I do believe it's 14.1. I love Chris B's The Beast. But uh, sometimes when Ares' wizard is down or his uh, wizard is down from Spartan, you have to work with, with an older version, which is what I had to do with this one here. I went and customized it to what I liked. And I didn't feel like going through all that process again to put it on my second box. So I went and backed it up, and now I'm showing you guys how to do it so you can enjoy. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. It was longer than usual. I'm sorry for all the pauses, but it, does, it is a little bit of a process. But there you go, guys. Um, if you like it, give me, a, give me a like on the thumbs up there. Uh, subscribe. There will be more videos to come. And uh, enjoy uh, backing up your builds and being able to restore if something goes wrong or put it onto a second box in your house or onto your laptop or computer. Hey, bye. Bye.